A little side note here on diffraction gratings is what happens when you put white light through them. Most of the time we're concerned with what happens with the diffraction gratings when you put monochromatic, i.e. light from a laser, through a diffraction grating, but sometimes we're concerned about what happens when you put white light like, through it. So we could set this up with like an ordinary light bulb or an LED light or a little flashlight, run it through a diffraction grating and see what happens. And the answer is that it will split the light like a prism. And you should be able to consider why that would happen if you think about it for just a minute that the diffraction happens differently depending on the wavelength incident on it. So red light will diffract more than um, blue light, more, less. Red light will diffract less than blue light. Um, and so what you get is you get a fringe of white light in the middle, and then you get some spectra, okay? So you'll get here, you'll get a little spectrum in this section here from red to violet. And you get the same thing out this side. You'll get a little spectrum out this side from red to violet. And what you'll see after that, after that, because of this, with this initial white light, after that, you won't see the white light anymore. The next one, which will be out, like, out here somewhere, will be a spectrum from red to violet. Now, because it's made by diffraction grating and not a prism, because I'm assuming that you've seen this before with prisms, uh, because it's made by a diffraction grating than a prism, the spectrum will be much more widely spread. Okay, so this, you might get asked to explain what's going on here. Um, so you might get asked, why do you see a little prism? Um, why do you see a little spectrum? Why does it split it? Um, and the answer, of course, is to do with the fact that white light is made of many colours and each individual uh, frequency of light within that spectrum will bend a different amount, will diffract a different amount. And so you'll get p different places across the screen where you're getting constructive interference just of red light and then of green and then blue and then violet. Okay, and so that's why you get the spectrum. Um, you might be asked about um, compact discs, which act as diffraction gratings. It's made up of very, 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 very many fine lines. Um, and it appears to work as a diffraction grating when light reflects off it. That's why they look kind of rainbowy on the bottom. So you'll sometimes get questions about diffraction gratings um, via CDs. 